Okay, so here's a real quick um, overview of how to do the clip art project. Um, in Chrome Canvas, you can see the tools. I can click on the pencil. I can click on the marker. Um, each one is a little bit different. There's the eraser. And if I want to make my eraser bigger, I can make my eraser bigger by clicking here. And you can see, I can, there it goes. It's bigger, and now I can erase. I'm going to make it real big and erase, and there it goes. Now, you can also change the colors, so you can choose from these colors or you can choose custom, and that'll give you more options. And each of my um, tools now is green because I chose green. And so here I go, I'm just coloring, and then I'm going to go to the pencil, and I'm going to change the color. Um, I'll do gray, so now you can see it's painting in gray. There's my house. Um, I can change the color again. I'm going to choose yellow and make a sun. And that's basically how you use Chrome Canvas. That's the basics. It's a pretty simple app. Um, if it's too simple for you, I suggest you try um, Pixlr X, P-I-X-L-R-X. Google it and you will find it. Okay, so now for the clip art project, I'm going to go to Google Images and I'm going to type in clip art donut. I'll just do clip, yeah, clip art donut. And I'm going to have all these clip art donuts. I'm going to choose the one I want. And then I'm going to, I'm on a Mac. I'm going to right click or control click and save it to the desktop. If you're on a Chromebook, you're probably going to have to save it. Um, email me with any questions if you're not sure how to get it on a Chromebook. Um, so there it is. My donut is on my desktop. And now I'm going to go back to um, Chrome Canvas. And when you're using an image, you're actually going to have to start fresh and new. So I'm going to go back to, not here, I'm going to go to Home. And there I'm going to go to New. Okay, New. And when I do new, I'm going to select my donut, and there it is. And now I'm ready to trace over it. But I need to look at my layers. You can see I have the donut layer, and then I have a layer on top. You need to make sure that you are on the layer on top. I'm not on the donut layer. I'm on the top layer. So there's the donut layer. There's the top layer. There I am. Now, I'm going to um, choose the color black. And I am going to make my brush pretty small, and I'm going to outline it. I'm doing a pretty lousy job because I'm trying to go fast. You're going to do a much better job. So there it goes. I outline my donut, really doing a terrible job. Yours is going to be better. I'm going to erase that. I'm going to try it again. Go back to my pencil or my brush, tracing the donut, and there it goes. Now, to see how it looks, I can, um, when I'm done tracing it, I'm going to go back to my layers and I'm going to shut off the original layer. So here I go to layers, I'm going to hit the eyeball, and now the original layer is shut off, which is what we want. Now I'm going to choose a color and I'm going to color in my donut. Um, now there, this program doesn't have real sophisticated tools like shading or fading or things like that. So again, if this if this program is too simple, there are other programs you can use like Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R dot X. So I choose brown and I'm going to start coloring it in. I'm coloring it in because it's a chocolate donut. I'm going to make my marker a little bit bigger. Make it bigger. Now, do you see how the paint is like you can see the different layers of it, how it like it's so, it's harder and softer in different areas. That's because my opacity is not fully up. So to fix that, I turn the opacity to 100%, and now my color is solid. Okay? So I'm going to keep doing this, and I'll speed it up so you don't have to watch. Okay, so now my donut's colored in. Now, if I wanted to, I could color in the background as well. Um, when you're finished with your clip art, 
you need to either screenshot it or save it, um, and then ideally upload it to Otis. Now, if you have any trouble with that, don't worry about it. Um, just take a screenshot if you can um, and email it to me. And my email is mkulbak at nssd112.org. Also, just a note that on um, my Otis page, there are there's a link in the lesson called Finding Your Medium, which is the first lesson. There is a link to how to screenshot on a Chromebook, on a PC, and on a Mac. And um, in Chrome Canvas, the three dots in the upper right corner, if you click on these three dots, you can click Save Image, give it a name, and I'm saving it on the desktop, and I hit Save. And you'll see that it's going to save it as a PNG file. Um, if you're on a Mac and you don't see Desktop, you can open it like this and select Desktop. But you can either screenshot it or upper three, three dot corner, save image, um, and then turn it into Otis. Again, email it to me if you have trouble.